Welcome to the Grow Your Beverage Brand Podcast. I'm your host, Anna, and today we're going to be talking about how Edition London picks wines for their wine program. In conversation with us today is Giuseppe Danelio, who is the assistant head sommelier and wine buyer for Edition London. Welcome to the podcast, Giuseppe. I'm Giuseppe Danielo, and uh, currently I'm working as a deputy head sommelier in uh, uh, London Edition and uh, yeah, slash wine buyer. Uh, I'm working there since uh, basically one year. And uh, after uh, after that, I moved to yeah. Before to go to the edition, I moved to I was working in Roca uh, Zuma Group for uh, around two three years, uh, and then yeah, I moved to the edition where I found basically the wine director is one of very good friends of mine, uh, Matteo Montone is one of my mentor, and then yeah, I'm pretty happy to work with uh, with them. And um, I run the wine program with uh, with him, uh, focusing. Uh, basically on uh, buying wines, uh, training the staff and build um, and changing the wine list, uh, of course, pretty often. We are around the 1000 bin. Under us, we have uh, eight sommeliers. So the wine program is pretty, is, is pretty intense and, uh, and busy, as you can imagine. And uh, yeah, edition is pretty busy and a fashion uh, place even in, uh, in, in London. Of course. So right now, like you said, it's very busy all the time. But right now, due to the uh, coronavirus that's happening, what has happened to the um, program right now? Like people are, are people not coming in anymore? People are drinking less. What's happening at Edition right now? Yeah, of course, of course we, we closed. So um, as, as you know, um, the, uh, Boris Johnson locked down the city. So uh, for us, you know, um, basically they took the, t- the decision to close uh, the the hotel, yeah, because there was no point to to keep going with uh, uh, no guests, um, even right. for uh, safety of the staff. So basically, we are not selling anything, uh, we are not buying anything uh, at the moment, but you know, we keep all the we kept all the staff and uh, all our stock, uh, and we wish, you know, when uh, when it's time to come back, we come back stronger. As, uh, as, uh, as before, you know, ready and stronger. Right, of course. So I think the good thing about wine is that the more it ages, the better it is. So I think having the stock there is not a problem at all. No, no, exactly. We don't, we don't, we don't need cash. Anyway, we, the, the company is pretty big. So uh, we're part of Marriott. So it's, a, it's, one of, it's the biggest company in terms of a hotel. Uh, so we don't need to sell uh, this wine to have some cash back. We are no very small restaurant, exactly. So uh, we can keep there for, for a while. In the moment, we time to come back. We come back with uh, definitely stronger. So when you, uh, when you're going to come back, what is is there going to be like a new wine program that you're thinking of, or? Yeah, Anna, to, to to be honest, um, yeah, to be honest, the the problem is uh, we don't know uh, when we are coming back because it's something and something we don't know yet. No one knows honestly, and uh, we don't know if the things they're gonna be the same as before. Because if before we were very strong you know, on the on the wine program uh, in terms of right. sales, so buying, you know, uh, we don't know uh, how this gonna affect the the market. You know, this this is the main the main thing. So we don't know yet. But of course, we wanna come back as 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 before. So focusing on the training, focusing on the buying, uh, um, traveling around to find you know a new producer, uh, new grapes variety, you know, something pretty interesting and. Uh, and uh, fashion for for our program, you know, this this will, will be what we focus always good value, right. and good producer. Right. So, uh, of course, like once all of this goes away, everyone's going to like try and come back stronger. So, for that time, how do you buy wine at Edition? Uh, what do you do? Like, do you when you have your uh, wines coming to you, do you taste them on like a daily basis, or is it every Friday? Basically, what is yeah, we, the process of buying wine at Edition? So basically, what we do is um, before then that is, is um, was important. You know, uh, when I joined the company, it was important to understanding uh, the concept of them. You know, um, before to buy. So uh, also, you know, the food that the, the the restaurant was doing is important in terms when you buy wine because anyway, you need to do a kind of pairing. You know, with the with the with the with the food. And understand the trends. What we do basically is, uh, um, plus you know, traveling uh, mainly around Europe. You know, um, uh, we we invite a lot of producers in 
to with the supplier, of course, to try to 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 taste as much as we can. Um, usually uh, in January, um, with the wine director, we put down a, a kind of plan for purchasing. Um, where basically in this plan we put everything in terms of uh, consumer preference, uh, personal preference, because even the personal preference are important. And uh, of course, uh, in this plan, that there are some some goals in terms of purchasing, uh, you know, um, the wines from different region, different grape variety, or, or different producer. Uh, what we do is uh, mainly we buy wines every two weeks to keep always the cellar pretty pretty full and uh, ready, you know, for for uh, for busy time. Um, because anyway, we have uh, we have around 70 slash 80 wines by the glass, so we need to be covered. Not just for the restaurant, because we have um, even for the rooms. Uh, we look, we look in uh, the the wine program is for the whole hotel. So even the three bars and uh, the room service and the, all the rooms must have uh, uh, So so we need to be always fully stocked. Definitely. And uh, yeah, what we do, guys, is what we do is basically uh, twice a week we do the order. Um, we use a uh, bursary. Uh, it's a kind of program, so basically it's connected straight to the supplier. And uh, yeah, as I said before, we use a uh, supplier because it's easier nowadays to use uh, uh, to have you know a person, a uh, middle press person between us and the producer. <clears throat> right. So what about so what is the kind of like uh, support you expect from the supplier or the producer? Like when you're taking their wines, do you like do you want them to give you any marketing support? Do you want them to give you like their brand story? How like for a sommelier when serving mm. to a customer, what is important um, in terms of support from the producer or supplier? So Yeah, um, it depends on the supplier, of course. With stronger supplier, we have, uh, um, we put down a kind of, you know, a kind of contract where basically it's based on, uh, um, on training and uh, some trips and, uh, yeah, of course, meeting uh, the producer. But what we are looking for when we buy um, wine, of course, is the, no, it's not always, of course, the marketing uh, behind, but, you know, probably the story behind of the producer is really important uh, uh, for us, uh, plus uh, a nice, you know, a nice looking bottle. And um, yeah, it's basically what we're looking for. Uh, of course, the, the, the tasting and the, the aromas and the, we, we want it. And what we consider it always is, uh, is uh, of course, the price. So more we can negotiate with, the, with this kind of supplier um, is better for us. So more, more we put down the, the, the price um, and the percentage that we buy the wine is, uh, is, uh, is, is higher. Right. So regarding price, at addition, what is like the uh, what is the price range for wine start from? Like maybe like what is your lowest by the glass program and what is the highest? Similarly with the bottles, what is like the lowest price that you offer your bottles at and what is the highest? Yeah, on the um, yeah, as I, as I said before, we have around 1000 beans. So uh, the wine list is pretty um it's pretty big and uh, yeah, we have uh, we have a we are cool because we have a great range of prices. So on the cheapest by the glass, we are uh, um, around nine pounds. And um, yeah, it used to be a Carignan from uh, Southern France. Uh, so a pretty good value, pretty, you know, ripe, fruity, rich, you know, as, as you expect, pretty easy to, to drink, as you expect for an ounce uh, 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 red wine by the glass. Um, on the white side, um, is a Greek wine, always on nine pounds, uh, very, very mineral, you know, type of a Sirtico, very mineral, light, fresh, even this one, very versatile as wine. So always on the nine pounds, very good value. Um, and then on the, um, on the, by the bottle, we do, um, we used to have our own brand um, called Bernet's Tavern, is the name of the restaurant. It was around uh, 56, but we have the definitely cheapest op option around uh, even 30 and uh, 35, 35 pounds. Between 30, is, uh, we have something, you know, from the south of Italy, like Calabria, uh, Chiro. Um, yeah, or we have this, this Carignan uh, from southern France or this wine from uh, Greece. Yeah. So we are around 30, probably 30 is the cheapest option that you can ever buy the bottle. Right. So, uh, of course, like that sounds like an amazing price range because, like you said, you have thousands of wines in your cellar. So, 
how about what uh what happens you do your private label wines like you said you have your own brand as well so how do you source that type of wine do you go to like sh uh trade shows or do you just go straight to the supplier like you said in italy no we got especially we always use the uh, the supplier we have our own seller in the hotel basically where we storage all the uh, all the wines it's not uh, super big Uh, but of course, it's not super small. But what we need to do, even uh, with the team, we need to be very sharp, you know, very well organized. Uh, so we need to have a good amount of the wines by the glass. That that is it is important. And on the, basically, of the rest of the reference, uh, very important. The more expensive reference, we go on the we go on the for each. For over usually, the years, have... um, over the time that you've worked with Edition. What do you uh what do you see works more in your wine program? Like do, does wine by the glass work more or do people buy bottles more? And what are what do they drink more of? Is it red, is it white? What do they prefer? You know, it's a it's very seasonal um uh, question. Um we we saw that basically in um uh, during during a uh, winter time uh, we saw a lot of uh, red um by the glass by even even by the bottle. Uh, as you know, London in Christmas time is pretty busy, and uh, uh, we had, um, uh, we, yeah, we saw we saw a lot of uh, uh, red, like um, uh, you know, Malbec is one of the best sellers in terms of by the glass, uh, red Rioja. Um, on the white, uh, Pouilly Fusé is one of the appellations that is going pretty well. Uh, is our is one of the highest price we have on the on the wines by the glass, and then we do the Coravin selection. That is pretty interesting. And um, honestly, it's going um, it's going uh, very well with some Barolo, you know, some Bordeaux a bit more and more expensive. On the um, on the on the, on the um, rosé side is a very whispery angel. It's one of the um, the one is going uh, very well. Usually in summertime, uh, we have even on the by the glass and um, white, of course. One of the most sellers probably in London is uh, Sunset. That we sell a very good uh, amount. That we have, you know, the others uh, uh, pretty strong um, uh, DOCG like uh, uh, Gavi and Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. You know, this one are pretty, uh, um, pretty big, big sell. But the team is very well trained, so we, they always try to sell. Um, we 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 try to have a, a seller and wine list pretty dynamic. So we always want to sell uh, something different to keep our seller. Um, yeah, the dynamic, as I, as I say, it, you know, I think this is the, the future. You know, we don't want to sell always the same things. But in terms of best seller, yeah, definitely Malbec, Rioja, um, Pulifusse, Sanser, Gavi. Yeah, this one at the, at the most seller, yeah. And uh, honestly, by the glass and uh, by the bottle, in both ways, they move pretty well. Amazing. That's amazing. So when you're buying wine, do you think like the brand name matters? Like, uh, do you go for like, smaller uh wineries and smaller producers or do you go for like the bigger brand names like Lafitte, Latour or whatever has been there for years what what are you looking for like in terms of buying yeah um, yeah basically Anna is um of course the brand is is important you know because now uh, many many wine producers they built uh you know a very strong brand as i said before you know uh, whispery angel now is not uh, a type of rosé whispery angel is uh, has his own uh, wine now because people knows the brand that they go straight for it um doesn't matter the style doesn't matter if it's a rosé whispery angel is whispery angel and people knows um but what we do is um It depends basically on the, on the the wine list is built, you know, in a different region and um, you know different grape varieties. So basically, uh, what we want we want to be strong everywhere. So if we if we are probably lacking a bit in New Zealand or lacking a bit, I don't know, in south of Italy, what we are looking is wine specific from there. Um, of course, so in terms of champagne by the glass, you know, the house champagne, um, this this kind of uh, this kind of um, Um, or buying is a bit different so we're looking even for something strong in terms of marketing as for example can be renard um, um but when when we want to buy uh you know like uh, wines from uh for, for the wine list in general that must must not be by the glass you know something that we need to put on it uh, we're looking up mainly for uh, for the trends 
uh, and um, the understanding of the new trends for us is, is crucial. And uh, what we are looking now, we understand the indigenous to grape variety uh, nowadays are very important. You know, people are looking for, for you know, a bit more, you know, small production um, uh, type of grapes that they are no international, right. like Merlot, you know, like from south of Italy, uh, I don't know, Nerello, Mascalese, these kind of grapes, yeah, they, are, they are a bit more... Um, uh, unusual to find, you know, because people are probably they know because they went there on holiday, you know, in Greece, in Italy, in Spain, uh, and yeah, we are looking a bit more on uh, these things, be more, uh, you know, a nice story behind the very old grapes and that someone they, they never they never tried. It's instant to go always with the international one. Of course, we have the international stronger brands. But what we what we want to be, but probably everyone has these strong brands in terms of wine program. But what we are looking for is something a bit more unusual. Right. I think now uh, customers are like kind of learning a lot more about wine compared to before. So I think instead of just going for the regular brands, they do like to see the story and they do like unusual grapes, like you said. So that's I think that's a lot because um, that's happening a lot because people are getting educated about wine. They're reading. There are a lot of programs for even consumers to take, you know. So when they go to a restaurant, they kind of know what they want. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely now uh, the, the people are, uh, the guests uh, are, are very well prepared now. And um, I understood this because basically in the past uh, few years, it was not definitely was not, not the same. Now people, uh, they know what they're going, they're going for. Um, they know the food. They know. They know. They know to talk about wines because, of course, uh, thanks to the, to you know different wine program on the on the television. You know a lot of you know food program, and the people are are very well uh, prepared. And they yeah they understand the quality of the wine. So now it's uh, so we need to be very very clear with them and uh, describe as a sommelier. We need to describe very well the wine. And understand what kind of style they are looking um, for, but definitely, definitely, I agree with you. Uh, the guests are very well prepared now. They go yeah. to the restaurant, and yeah, and they know what what, what they're going for. Right. So you spoke a lot about your staff, and I'm sure, like the staff at Edition is very well trained, and everyone's like work. They really work together as a team. So could you tell us a little bit about like the training programs that you put in place? Because like I think. Training matters a lot to create a great staff. So maybe for other restaurateurs listening or other sommeliers listening, what do you do? How can they train their team to be like as great as your team? Yeah, of course. Um, study for us is uh, is uh, something that is, is crucial for uh, for uh, our uh, wine program. So for this reason, we have uh, um, all our sommeliers basically are enrolled in different uh, courses so like WST or CMS. Um, because for us, it's, it's very important, to, not just about the knowledge, but even to have certification behind you. And um, our wine program basically is based on, on the training wine program is, play, is based on the WST, because both me and Matteo, we have uh, the level four, and uh, we got the diploma with them, so we are able to, uh, to teach them. Um, so we do internal, we do level one and two and three. Uh, for all the staff, you know, not just for the sommelier team, even waiter, uh, everyone is free to attend. Of course, this one goes to, to HR. Um, but yeah, our our wine program, in terms of um, in in terms of uh, yeah, in terms of studying, is based basically on in terms of teaching, is based on the WST. Plus, we do um, we do some um, different training for the sommelier. So we do twice a week. Uh, we sit down, you know, with uh, with a producer. We go into on uh, on the on the wines, um, making few questions in terms of production, or terroir, and 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 you know, and then everything. And plus, we go on the one to one in terms of blind tasting. So we put down, you know, three uh, slash four wines where the guys are going through with the technical sheets and describe that um, uh, blind. Uh, you know, to keep them and to keep us always uh, um, uh, sharp. Um, and then we go into on the on the on the wine list. So um, the the sommeliers basically uh, they go uh, on the on their free time. They go to a bit more deep on the different producer on the wines, uh, making you know a description of the a bit of history and a description of that specific um, the specific specific wine. 
Yeah, but what we believe is always the certification. So everyone uh, are uh, enrolled on, on, you know, WST or CMS. So for us, it's pretty important, yeah. That's, that's amazing. That's a very strong training program, at, actually, compared to a lot of other places as well. So just, um, just to sum everything up, if a brand wanted to get onto Edition's wine list, what would be three things that they, they have to look at? Just like short three things that they could focus on if they want to get in, um, onto Edition's wine list. Uh, definitely uh, consistency on the quality. So what we are looking for is that it's uh, it's um, because we had in the past we had some issues with uh, some um, producer that was not really consistency on on the on the production, and so we had some problem with some quality wines. So we want uh, definitely what we are looking for is consistency on the quality. Definitely, the second is a uh, is you know uh, must. To must be um, there is, must be something you know behind. We we really like you know the hard work behind all the wine. You know we don't want you know this uh, uh, huge amount of production that sometimes you know can happen. Um, so we want something on the on the middle scale, but you know something where there is quality and history behind the producer because we want to tell to the guest. Uh, we want to have something uh, cool. And personally, what I'm looking for is always, you know, a nice, uh, as I said, always to 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 everyone, a nice, uh, cool fashion bottle. You know, this of course helps because you know when you need to present a bottle of wine in a in a five star uh, uh, luxury hotel, you know, you need to have always, you know, a good looking bottle. This is important. It doesn't matter the price. You know, from uh, ten to uh, one thousand pounds. You know, I, um. What I'm looking for is always a kind of nice, interesting bottle. This is important uh, for me. And then, of course, the negotiation skills for us are, uh, <laughs> are uh, very important. If we can have always, you know, a uh, good price, you know, good value, this is the main thing so we're looking for. So something with, that is quality, but at the same time, we can make, you know, some money. Right. Amazing. Thank you so much. I think our listeners are going to benefit a lot from this. Mm-hmm.